Hey guys, we're here today in Valheim with an updated video on the best foods for you to use in each stage of the game. I've done a video previously on this topic, but Hearth and Home added a bunch of new foods and changed the system in a lot of areas, so we're going to go over it again. A couple things that have not changed are health region, which is a 10 second region, you will heal whatever the food says once every 10 seconds. And the second is that this is most accurately described as the best food for each stage in the game or age, meaning Bronze Age, Iron Age, Silver Age, as opposed to each biome. Even if you've progressed into the mountain biome, the mountain food or the Silver Age food is the best food to use regardless of which biome you enter. So keep that in mind as we progress through this video and take note of whatever stage you are in the game and you should be using that set of food. You'll notice that as we progress through this video, anything related to the ocean, being like fish and serpent meats, are all placed in the swamp category. This is the stage that you are able to craft a longship, which is the fastest and easiest way to get anything in the ocean or locate the trader. Although I guess you could theoretically kill a serpent with a raft. On that note, serpent meat and serpent stew are really good foods and can give you some really good buffs. However, they're the most unreliable source of food to hunt down. Therefore, it will not be included in any of the best setups because it's just too unreliable to get and can't be counted on. If you do have some serpent stew and you want to use that instead, obviously just replace the worst piece of food you got with serpent stew and you'll be doing pretty good. Obviously, with it being the first stage in the game, we are going to jump right into the meadows or the flint age. The different foods that you will locate in the meadows are mushrooms, honey, boar meat, deer meat, necktails, and raspberry. Early on in the meadows, the different food combinations don't make that much of a difference but they will become more varied as we progress through the ages. And we will be taking a look at what is the best health setup, the best stamina setup, and then what I believe is the best overall setup, giving you the most amount of points total. The best health setup in the meadows would be boar meat, deer meat, and necktails. Giving you a total of 115 hit points, 80 stamina, and five hit points every 10 seconds for its health region. The best stamina setup would be mushroom, raspberry, and honey giving you 55 hit points, 120 stamina, and 3 hit points every 10 seconds for its health regen. The most balanced setup, however, or the best overall points you can get, would be boar meat, deer, and honey, giving you a total of 98 hit points and 107 stamina points. This also has 5 hit points on its health regen every 10 seconds. Now once you get to the Black Forest or the Bronze Age, the new foods that you will unlock are carrot soup, deer stew, queen's jam, minced meat soup, boar jerky, carrots, blueberries, and yellow mushrooms. Once we get to this stage in the game, we would achieve the best health setup by mixing deer meat, deer stew, and minced meat sauce. This would give us 145 total hit points, 90 stamina, and 8 hit points of health regen. If we were attempting to gain the most stamina possible, we would mix honey, carrot soup, and queen's jam. This would give us 62 hit points, 170 stamina, and 5 hit points of health regen. The best overall points you can get would be deer stew, carrot soup, and queen's jam, totaling up to 99 hit points, 150 stamina, and 7 health regen. The swamp or the iron age will unlock sausages, serpent meat, serpent stew, fish, muck shake, turnip stew, and black soup. In order to achieve the most hit points you can, you would mix sausages, black soup, and deer stew giving you 175 hit points, 100 stamina, and 9 hit points on its health regen. To approach things with the most stamina possible in the Iron Age, you'd want to mix carrot soup, turnip stew, and a muck shake. And this would give you a total of 74 hit points, 200 stamina points, and only 5 hit points on its health regen. And the most balanced setup would be sausages, turnip stew, and black soup giving you 148 hit points, 140 stamina, and 8 hit points on the health regen. Now once you have moved into the mountains and into the Silver Age, you will unlock onions, onion soup, wolf meat, wolf jerky, wolf skewers, and ice cream. Now as we approach the mountains and the Silver Age, you will likely notice that the best health setup may not work for you as well because the stamina increases compared to the swamp are very little and you may not be able to swing your weapon as much as you'd like or move around and be agile in combat. The stamina setups in the mountain and the plains still serve a decent purpose for harvesting and moving around quickly throughout the map, but they lack in general combat unless you're really good at dodging due to their low overall hit points. So it's in these last two biomes that you'll most likely want to pay attention to the best overall setup and go for the most points distributed possible. That being said, the best health setup would be wolf skewers, sausages, and black soup giving you 195 total hit points, 106 stamina, 
and 9 health regen. The best stamina setup would be ice cream, turnip stew, and onion soup. This would total out to 84 total hit points, 230 stamina, and 4 health regen. The best overall setup would be wolf skewers, onion soup, and ice cream, giving you 131 hit points, 196 stamina, and 5 health regen. Once you have moved on to the plains or the black metal age, we will unlock bread, blood pudding, lox meat, lox meat pie, fish wraps, and cloud berries. Mixing these foods to get the best health setup would require lox meat pie, fish wraps, and a wolf skewer. Totaling out to 235 hit points, 118 stamina, and 11 health regen. The highest stamina numbers we could get would be bread, ice cream, and blood pudding. With 94 total hit points, 260 stamina, and 5 health regen. And the overall best setup would be lox meat pie, bread, and blood pudding. Giving us 148 hit points, 219 stamina, and 8 health regen. Depending on your base setup and how your farms are going, some of these foods may be easier acquired than other ones for you. And that's why none of these setups factor in the cheapest ones to make or the best on cost because that is kind of hard to calculate depending on how your base is done. If you can acquire the best overall setup or the most balanced setup in each biome or stage, then this will net you the most points overall distributed between stamina and health. Like I said earlier, this does not factor in serpent stew and you can replace Serpent Stew with any other item in the setup depending on what you're looking to do. One last thing that's really important to note is that Iron Gate Studios changed the degradation rate of foods when Hearth and Home came out. Used to the degradation was equal across the lifetime of the food and you could divide the total time it lasted by the hit points it gave you and it would slowly lose out on the hit points over time. Iron Gate Studios has shifted it now to where the health degradation starts out slow and gradually gets faster as the timer goes down and the item will lose 50% of its hit points over 90% of its lifespan, and then lose the last half of its hit points in that last 10% of its lifespan. For example, boar meat gives 30 hit points and it lasts 20 minutes. It will lose 15 of that hit points over 18 minutes, and then lose the last 15 over the last two minutes of its lifespan. Serpent stew gives 80 hit points and lasts 30 minutes. So it will lose 40 hit points over 27 minutes and lose the last 40 hit points over the last three minutes of its lifespan. This means that you can eat foods more confidently and rest and build up your hit points without losing out on good hit points early on in the lifespan. As your foods are approaching empty, you still have the majority of their buffs and stats, but they are about to drain very quickly. So it's important to time out when you're gonna eat new food and refuel back up. Hopefully this video is helpful to you and can give you an idea of what you wanna start farming for, harvesting or building up on and stockpiling in terms of food. If you're playing multiplayer, it can help to diversify and use these different setups in order to have better stats depending on your role. If you're playing single player, hopefully the best overall setup can help you survive the best of your ability and can be a baseline of what food to look for regardless of what weapon and situation you're in. Let me know down in the comments what your favorite new foods are from Hearth and Home and if you like their new changes to the health and stamina system and the degradation system. Thanks for watching. I will see you next time.